Hey guys, this is Zaxter99 again. Today I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple of things here. I do uh, PC repair kind of on the side out of my home. Um, I also do custom builds and stuff like that for people. And as you can see, my work area here is just a couple of computer, you know, my computer desk out in my garage. Um, kind of messy right now. Um, a lot of wires have been working on a lot of computers, so it tends to get that way when I'm when I'm doing stuff out here. Um, so don't hate on me too much for my mess. But talking about a mess, and that would be, I got several towers here from a customer. Uh, this one is a E-Machines. Oh, how I love E-Machines. Uh, looks like this is a pretty old PC here, probably, probably 9, 10, maybe even older, uh, 9, 10 years old. And you can see that because this is one of those old AOL computers where you got AOL for free or, or you got a computer basically for free if you sign up for AOL for I don't know a year or whatever and yeah, you get a really dirt dirt cheap price on on a computer for signing up for AOL the problem is the computers were pretty cheaply made as well you know they were alright for what they did AOL dial up and stuff like that but you know these computers just don't work too well in today's uh, high speed internet and stuff like that but anyway, this is a customer that has Windows XP on this computer and, you know, he wants it restored. And so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall Windows on here for him. Uh, I don't charge a whole lot to do that. But one thing I always do when I get any PC in is I always do a courtesy for my customer by, you know, doing a visual inspection. I take the side panel off, look at the circuit board, look at the motherboard, make sure I don't see anything wrong, make sure I don't see any leaking capacitors. You know, anything obviously wrong uh, that I can let them know about and give them options for replacing or whatnot. And I want you guys to see something on this particular computer. Uh, and uh, this is something that uh, I try to tell my customers about and I'm trying to tell you guys as computer owners about as well. Because, you know, it is important if you want your computer to last. And when I look in this computer, I am surprised at, I'm surprised this computer has lasted this long. <clears throat> and here's why. So, all these computers usually have either some kind of a tab you release here, or a lot of them have two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom. And it's on the left hand side, typically, on the computer when you look at it from the front. So you move to the back, you unfasten the two fasteners or whatever latch system it has, and a lot of them you're going to unlatch it and then pull it straight back and then it'll just fall off. But I want you guys to see the inside of this computer. And what you need to do as a computer tower owner with any tower that you own is you need to be opening this panel at least every couple of months, every three months, depending on how dusty the environment is where you live. Here in Idaho where we live it seems like it's just extremely dusty. We kind of live down in a desert. Uh, here in the Boise area, but if you look inside this tower, look at all this dust. There is cobwebs in here. Look at the cobwebs. This is absolutely nasty. This is our CPU fan. It's just caked with dirt and dust. The whole thing. It's just a mess. Now these this power supply up here where you see dust right here, uh, this is the power supply vents. When this stuff gets clogged with dirt like this, when these fans get clogged with dirt, these your computer can overheat quite easily and burn up. What's up? So what you want to do is you want to blow this out with high pressure air. And that's what I'm going to do for this computer today. And I'll show you how I do that here. All right, guys, to clean up our mess here, we're back now. I've taken my computer outside on my driveway, uh, this dirty mess, and I'm going to be using this. This is a huge money saver. Um, this is the Datavac Electric Duster. You can buy this on Amazon or online. Just Google it. It's made by Metro. Um, this is a great device. should run you about 50 to $60 in U.S. dollars. Um, saves you a ton of money on canned air, uh, which can run out pretty quickly. It also has the advantages of having different sized uh, tubes, depending on what you're doing. 
I primarily use a small one for blowing out my computers. Um, but I've had this thing for at least four years now, I think five years, and still works perfect. Uh, I can't even begin to imagine how much money this has saved me on those cans of high pressure air. As well, you don't take any chances on getting that liquid residue uh, you sometimes get with the high pressure air but that can leave if you tilt it or you know hold it at too much of an angle. So I really love this Datavac all liquor duster. Um, it's useful for this kind of thing, uh, cleaning out computers, but you can also blow out, you know, air filters and stuff like that in your, uh, you know, in your ventilation system in your house and your heaters and, you know, all kinds of other useful uh, things as well. So I really love this thing. Uh, highly recommended purchase. Uh, to blow out any kind of debris or dust and any kind of filters or anything you might be working on, especially if you do any kind of computer repair work. Uh, even if you just have one or two computers in your home, this is probably going to save you money uh, over its life. I mean, it lasts a long time, uh, plugs in, has a nice long cord, and I love it. So we're going to go ahead and use this. It is pretty loud, but we're going to go ahead and blow this out. Now, one thing people will tell you, I'm already going to get comments. I know people are going to say, hey, you shouldn't blow high pressure air on your on your fan blades. I can tell you I've been using this thing for over five years. I've blown out well over 200 computers. I haven't ruined a fan yet by making the blade spin too fast. Uh, I've never seen it where the blade, you know, I've made a, a fan spin and cause electric current to go in and blow up the circuitry in my motherboard. People say all kinds of crazy stuff. I know they're gonna leave it in the comments below. Oh, you, sh you should hold the blade, blah, blah, blah. It hasn't happened yet. I'm willing to take that risk. If I blow out a fan, if I short circuit a motherboard from the current that I'm causing by blowing the fan blade, then I will replace it. But that hasn't happened yet. So for the most part, I think that's a, uh, a pretty unlikely risk that using this and not holding the fans uh, while it spins is gonna cause some kind of damage. So we're gonna go ahead and blow this out and I'll let you watch me. I'll probably speed this up. Uh, and uh, so you don't have to wait so long. So here we go.
All right, guys, and this is the end result of blowing that out. I think you'll agree that this looks a whole lot better than what it was. Yeah, I mean, there's some some dust that I could wipe out of here, but it's going to get dusty again. There's really not a whole lot to use in, you know, using any kind of towels or anything and cleaning it up perfect because it's going to get dusty again. What you want to do is just mainly remove the dust from the fans like I did. Get the dust out of the, you know, ventilation holes in your power supply and video cards and stuff like that if you have any of those. Uh, and clean up these fans. That's really what you're looking to do and you just get most of the dust out of here. That's really all you have to do. Whether you do it with a can of high pressure air, you buy, you know, a plug-in uh, high pressure air system like I did with the Metro. Uh, that's really all you need to do. And hopefully this will help you uh, extend the life of your computers. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and end uh, this video. I do want to go ahead and thank you for watching. Be sure you leave me any questions, comments, or concerns uh, about the video below uh, down in the comments. And then if you have any, uh, you know, <clears throat> if you have any questions, please uh, let me know what those are. Uh, be sure you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my videos if you want to, especially if this video has helped you. Maybe I'll have another video in the future that will help you out or that you'll enjoy watching. I do want to go and thank you for watching. This has been Zaxter99, and have a good day.